Hey, what is up guys, and today we're going to be talking about some super exciting things indeed on Epic Mode V3. So number one, we've got a story time on Epic Mode V3. Someone joined Epic Mode V3, and they're like, this mode is not for me. But anyways, now uh, after that, then we're also going to be taking a look at my bank, as well as my inventory and equipment. And then after that, we're going to be talking about other things. So look in the chat right here you can see someone got a noxious scythe which is pretty massive guys worth 180 bill like congratulations to zillop ev he could win the competition who knows i don't i don't know what he's worth right now two people are worth four trillion guys so not to like surprise you or make you quit or anything they got that in like only two days time so there is a lot of time left guys if you guys want to compete with those two people i believe that epic scry and epic Eurus are both in the lead so definitely just grind your life away on this game mode and hopefully you will catch up maybe i'm certainly not gonna try and well, I'm not going to try 100%, but I'm definitely going to log in every day and, you know, log a few hours into it at least. So I can get myself, hopefully, some, like, Malevolent or some Elite Torva. Like, last mode, I think, uh, oh, Epic Mode V1, I actually had two Elite Torva pieces, which is pretty cool. I had the body and the legs, which made me hit massive, by the way, guys. But now we're going to get into the story time, which I believe will be one of the best parts of this video. So, story time is that this guy named Two Noobs 4, which we should have been able to tell based on the name, this guy is going to be a total noob, guys. But anyways, this guy, he's like wondering, how can I play this game mode if it costs 10 billion coins to teleport to my task? And I'm like, Two Noobs 4, you don't need to teleport to your task with the Slayer Master. You don't have to pay 10 bill. Because you can go into quest tab, you can click teleports, you can click next page, you can click monsters, and you can just teleport from here. And he's like, ah, that's too difficult, man. I, I don't know if he actually said that, but he was like giving the impression that it was too difficult to find out where the Slayer monsters were. Someone told him that, you know, you should check out Brimhaven Dungeon. And yeah, the lesser demons that he had on task weren't there, so I felt kind of bad. So I decided I'm going to try and help this guy out. But... We're doing some investigation into this guy, and he's 60 combat, and we're like, well, that seems to be a little bit low combat, but if you guys, if he wanted to train, like, his combat and stuff, then he could have, so we just, like, let him train his combat, and I don't even think he had 43 prayer, and he was just getting destroyed at Brimhaven Dungeon, so I could totally see why he wanted to quit. He didn't even have the protect from melee player, prayer, like, how do you play an RSPS or, uh, like, in RSPS, one of the first things you would do is to get that 43 prayer. I think that would probably be expected. Especially if you're going up against monsters that are going to be hitting, like, really high on you. Like, 5s and 10s and stuff like that. He, It looked like he wasn't even eating or anything in Brimhaven Dungeon. It was kind of funny, actually. But, now we're getting to the good stuff, guys. The meat of this story. So, he's running around Brimhaven Dungeon. He's dying. And then he teleports home, and I go to Taverly Dungeon, because I figure out that Taverly Dungeon actually has lesser demons. Because what I did, guys, I did this weird little thing called using Google, where I figured out where lesser demons actually were. So he probably should have done this at first, but I, I actually went ahead and did it. And hopefully he's not online right now, and hopefully he does not see this video, so he does not dislike it or anything like that. But anyways... So, yeah, anyways, I went to Taverly Dungeon, I teleported him to Taverly Dungeon, and I'm like, here you go, dude, I actually brought you straight to your task, so hopefully you can stop complaining in the friends chat about how teleports cost 10 bill, and how you don't have 43 prayer, and how you're not bringing food to any of your Slayer tasks, but anyways, he's at Taverly Dungeon, and he has no gear, and I'm like, what is the deal with you having no gear? I'm like, who is going to fight their Slayer task with no gear? But obviously, he was getting ready to quit. He's like getting all of his gear off. He's like, he's like giving away his bank, giving away his adamant armor and his dragon scimitar. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do like a little bit of a face palm here because your dragon scimitar and adamant armor really aren't worth that much. So I don't really know why you're going to try and do a giveaway on your account when it's worth like maybe 100 mil at most. But he wanted to give away all of his stuff, which made no sense. And I'm like, sure, go ahead. And I, as soon as he was telling me he needs free money, or he's like, he's saying free money, give away items, free items, I'm quitting. I'm like teleporting away from him because I'm like, whatever, he's going to quit. He's probably not going to be able to give much of his stuff away 
because I don't think that anyone's going to want it and people aren't going to want them to quit. People are going to be like, no, you should stay and play the game. And people people in the friends chat were literally trying to help him out to like go to this area and kill this monster. And he's like, I don't want to do it. I'm too lazy. He's like, I just want to quit. This game's too hard. He's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So anyway, that was a funny story for today, guys. Let's get into what I have on my account now. Noxious Scythe, that's worth 180 bill, and that's pretty good. I didn't get that as a drop, but I traded for it, guys. I bought one. If you guys get one Noxious weapon, you can trade it for another. Someone might actually have a Scythe, which is pretty much the best one. Abyssal Dagger, that's worth 5 bill. Ring of Light, Ring of Wealth E, which can double drop sometimes. Very nice. So you definitely want one of those. 5 bill. Primordial Boots, 40 bill, quite nice. Best in slot melee boots in the entire game. Skull Trooper Legs, guys. These are quite nice. These are one of the better melee armor sets. Not like the best, but I think it might be somewhere around the fourth best. And then now we're going to check out my bank, which doesn't have as cool stuff in it, but whatever. We have this Obsidian Scythe here, guys, which was given to us by Epicurus, which was it was lent to us, guys, not really given. But yeah, I have it for like a few more hours, but not necessary since I have Noxious Scythe. Now we've got a few items here. Uh, Calphite Chaps, not worth anything. Hex Hunter Bow, not worth much. Uh, Abyssal Dagger, 5 bill, not bad. Celestial Robot, not worth anything. Pernix Chaps, 500 mil, so not too bad. Then we've got ourselves a regular Donator, which is like pretty good, guys. Gives me the ability to use Bank Command, which is pretty much all I need. Then we've got $20 in case I ever die or need a donator. Uh, $20 is going to be like four revivals, which I've died like three or four times in this mode, guys. I don't know if you guys can believe that or not. But I keep trying to do these other things, like mostly making customs on the side. Which, by the way, if you guys want to buy a custom, definitely PM me in-game. But anyways, so I've just been dying left and right at my tasks. Mainly the dragon ones, because the dragons hit really hard, guys. Like... I was trying to do it with a scythe and anti-fire and that is just not worth it guys. You guys are probably going to want anti-fire and a shield at the same time. Or you just got to bring like lots of food. But then we've got a revival token here. Uh, anything else of importance? Not really guys but I do have some advice for you guys. I'm sure you guys already know most of the advice. Uh, you know just use Google. I'm sure you guys are already doing that. Do the teleports thing like I was saying earlier. But not only that guys. If you go to colon colon ch, which is custom home, you can actually go to another person's custom home. If you guys type in kit, then you actually get to a custom home that was made by me, which is pretty cool, guys. It's like a palace, and for whatever reason, I put moss giants in the palace. So if you guys happen to need blister wood weapons, or if you guys need the leaf bladed weapons, guys definitely go to my custom home, and you guys will be able to kill the moss giants and get those weapons. Once again, you will need the blister wood weapons for Vire Watch, and you will need the leaf bladed weapons for Turoth. So, if you guys need either of those, that will be very good for you to go to my custom home to get those items. Now, we are approaching the end of the video, guys, where I have to tell you, you guys should definitely buy some of my merch, guys. My merch, what am I selling? I'm selling uh, some things in the daily deals. If you guys do colon colon deal, you guys can see some really cool deals, and it says, deal of the week pm phil but guys you should pm me because i'm online most of the time and i will be able to sort out a deal with you guys uh, most of these are like between 50 and 100 dollars obviously i can work like something out with you guys hopefully uh the hundred dollar ones are obviously the best but not everyone can afford those most of the hundred dollar ones have custom weapons included and if you guys just want a custom on its own that is 75 dollars if you guys want to pm me in game I will let you pick as many, well, not as many colors as you want, but you guys can pick like literally three or four different colors. Have a really cool color schema with your custom as well as having its own name as well, as well as being able to have the custom permanently forever. So if you ever log into Anarchy, if Anarchy ever resets or if Anarchy's game mode like ever uh, resets like Epic mode restarts, if you guys needed a custom that stayed on your account forever, if you guys bought a custom, then it would stay on your account even after the Epic mode finishes. So luckily we've been having some people buy customs in the last few days and hopefully we don't stop because we do need to keep selling customs if we want to keep up that YouTuber, keep up that YouTuber activity. Now I am giving away 100 mil OSRS every single week, which cost me like $60. 
but uh, not only am I spending $60 on the OSRS, I'm spending a lot more on the YouTubers as well as the cost of the server. So that's why I'm trying to advertise right now for custom weapons. So if you guys are interested, once again, I really don't, we don't, I like people that donate, you know, over a hundred, but like if we can get some people donating like 50, it really only takes a few people to donate 50 for us to reach our daily goal. Like two people donate 50, we reach our daily goal of a hundred and we don't even have to reach our daily goal of a hundred every single day, but it is a little disappointing if we're at zero dollars. So guys, let's ramp it up guys. Let's get it over zero dollars, please. Every single day. And basically that's it for this video guys. I've reached 10 minutes, which would put me at the point where I can make ad revenue. If of course I had enough subscribers, which would be like 1000 subscribers or something like that. But anyways, guys, peace out. That is the end of the video. Hopefully some more cool stories to come. And yeah, basically peace out.